the madman. Got a special one for you today. This is going to be arena run number 30. So here we go. I haven't done the warrior in some time. We'll give Sire Denathrius carry me on my 30th run. Mm, frenzy, I guess. Silver Fury Stalwart is probably just a little bit better. But really close. Hit it very hard. It's nice. One mana removal. Sanguine Depths. Locations are pretty sweet. Treasure Guard or Nixian Warder. There's an Nixian Drake Dragon. Uh, and I'm picking this fairly early, which means I can legitimately pick a Nixian Drake over certain things where it would be close. Uh, I think I'm going to pick the Warder here. And Warrior has the Yeti. Warder. Uh, Blaze? Blaze. Deceased is pretty sweet. I have no Pirates, although I'll probably end up with Pirates, but Priest is pretty sweet. Uh, armor is pretty sweet. Hog Rancher is pretty sweet, but I do have Sanguine Depths. It's nice with Acolyte of Pain, but I have no Threes. I have no good threes. I have no tempo threes. Something, something. Uh, Hog Rancher, I've never sat with it. Whirlow. It's a mistake if I want to play the Warder and Warder angle, but Slam is much better. There's Azure Drake. Good pick. Another Silver Fury Stalwart. Nice. Yeah, I've got some self damage. Eh, self damage. Fun fact, I've never actually picked Coroner in Arena. And this is Arena run number 30. I, I don't actually really know what to say about this card. It's like, somehow I've never picked that card, I think. Uh, good old Bunker Sergeant. Kind of want to put Sus Pirate because I have no weapons. This card is just too good, I can't pass it, I think. Alright, Hama. Happy to see that, I think. I mean, have no weapons, so... Yes. I think Stubborn Suspect is stronger than Ice Revenant. I don't believe I need Red Herring. I got Double Silver Fury Stalwart, which are pretty relatively big cards in Arena. I think I pick the Mule over the Stalwart. Man, Warrior doesn't get chosen a lot. A lot of these cards uh, have small sample size. Interesting. Anixian Warder is better than more Anixian Warders you have. It's a good card there. There's a Nixian Drake. Uh, this is an example of where I would probably normally pick Sentinel, but because I have double warder, I'll obviously pick Drake. Draw a weapon. That's really good with my blacksmithing hammer. I don't have many threes somehow, which is weird because I usually have way too many three drops. Ooh, nice to get a big card like this one. Uh, a lot of classes that aren't mage don't get the big cards, which is why mage often has a more consistent win. It's either Peasant or Lava Gorger. Uh, let's see, on four, how many of these are really four drops? Stubborn Suspect, Onyxian Drake, though I kind of want to keep that in hand. I actually don't have very many four drops, but I but it is important to get on the board, I suppose. Uh, so I do continue to note I don't have very many four drops, so uh, many four drops, so Blood of Brave is fine. It's the 30th arena run bonus at the end. Woo! What a weird pick. It's like Neptune is clearly the strongest card, but maybe you pick Deathwing because it activates dragons. Yeah, it's Neptune. Too good, I guess. Well, there's a mistake for my dragon. I'll pick that. Pretty blessed 30th run. Uh, top end is pretty beefy. Neptulon, Trench Stalker, Double Silver Moon Stalwart, uh, Razor Main Raider, Double Onyxian Raider. Those are all like pretty beefy cards. Uh, assuming, of course, that I'm holding a dragon. Uh, I do think in this deck, I am probably just going to be holding that mistake for the Onyxian Warders. Probably almost always a mistake to play the mistake. Unless I have another dragon. 
I've got Slam Execute, I have Sanguine Depths Execute, I have a few small things plus Execute. Uh, like a Mule, or a Peasant, or a Bunker Sergeant, or a Hog Rancher. We got only one weapon in this uh, wo uh, in this Warrior deck, which is kind of unusual. Uh, but I have the Blacksmithing Hammer plus Weapons Expert combo. So Weapons Expert will always buff a weapon, or draw a weapon. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and I think the curve is rather good. It may look like I have a lot of 4-drops, but I don't actually have very many 4-drops. It's going to be a solid 30th run. Let the hunt begin. Let your penance begin. Keep Mystic? No, throw Mystic, because I'm never playing it early, right? I'm going to get rid of it. I think it's too important to have that with the Anexian Warder. And I don't have Anexian Warder. I think pass again. And I think pass yet again. I mean, that just happens to be the perfect answer, so whatever. Poisonous thing means I obviously want to play a small thing. It's like, all right, at this point, if you played the bow into nothing, I conclude that you have actually no small things. So I'll use the location and have taken four extra damage, but obviously I didn't know they were going to play three mana, three, four, four mana weapon. That's a good draw. Don't let them harm the eggs. Do your worst. I'm actually building up a Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. I have little time. The courage of man shall not fail. Crush the invaders. A lot of uh, possibilities, like increasing the attack on the right thing, blah 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 thing, blah 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 blah. Hmm. If I play Trench Stalker, it always dies. But I'm always playing this after. To deal 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. It's alright. Holy cow. 
Played an Epsilon into loss. Wait, no. No, we're fine. Okay, meanwhile attacking. The barons are ours. I won't go down without a fight. You're next. I'm just going to point out, if you wonder why my turn prior, like I actually roped on, it's because there's this guy in chat who I actually thought it was Miyako who did it, but there's this guy in chat. This should be a Miyako story, but it's not. Uh, who types in, like, one word per line. So they said, like, Trump! And then I was like, wait, what? I already know what I'm gonna do. But I had to, like, wait for them to type out the other stuff, and then I had to, like, attach, like, what else meant what. And it's like, oh, yeah, I mean, if you put it all together, I, of course, know what to do, but by, type, by like, leaving out so many spaces, like, I have to connect all the things together, and I'm like, wait, are you trying to tell me something super important? Was there a lethal or something? It's like... Anyways. It was one word Trump, and then I was like, oh, dot, dot, dot. Oh, he's about to say something really, really, like, important. I better not do the obvious play. And then it's like, it's not hard. It's the obvious play. And I'm like, oh. Good matchup. Not for my fault. Please help me. That feels good. Run for help. Hmm, I don't think I want to play Pelican Diver on an empty board. It's complicated. What a hipster. Okay, so I get to one-shot that because of this. One-shotting is probably good. There are going to be a number of games where I basically just need to hold out until Neptune, and that was game one. I hadn't, like, done my usual, what type of deck is this? It's not a tempo deck, I know that for sure. And I think it's a little bit on the heavy side for a mid-range deck. It's not a control deck, because I don't really have that many spells I control, though I do have two executes. And I do have, like, bigger cards. It's like, um, I think this is basically a slightly bigger mid-range deck.
Oops, almost order. I won't go down without a fight. Hit the opponent very hard? Yes. Naxxramas never lacks corpse cells. Attack three different random enemies. Uh, eight plus eight, sixteen. Uh, opponent's gonna have four two twos. Oh, of course I silenced that. Insane silence. Did that just... It's Surprise Warrior Pyroblast coming up. Good old play the Drake Far Amulet and then die. So that's why Drake Far Amulet, which I, at the very beginning of the arena season, I was like, that's gotta be one of the best cards in, um, in Mage, right? It's surprisingly not one of the best cards in Mage. Although it is very good. Feels kind of weird to mulligan the one mana one three. Uh, but what is mistake's purpose? It's to activate a Nixian order while still also being a efficient card. Me not shady. Do I do it again? The same type of play I did the first game, where I choose not to uh, kill the one health minion on the board. Yeah. This time around, I feel like killing it. What changed between this game and the Hunter game? I think the Hunter was more likely to play multiple one health minions. On turn... Was I going second in that game? I don't remember, but... All ends with death. Different class, different circumstance, blah blah blah. Wow, it's a card that can trade into Incorp Corp uh, at a smaller mana cost. You know what would be funny? If uh, the Paladin was like, oh my god, I have to attack with Incorp Corp before uh, Pelican Diver rushes into it. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Oh, not a need. Do I punch it for one? Yes. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Don't let them harm the eggs. Plus two, plus two currently. The problem with my current setup is I don't think I'm going to take damage. So Blazing Power is going to miss a minus, it's going to be minus one. Hmm. 
plus three plus three. Five, four. That's actually pretty good. Crush the invaders! Is the Nixian Warders were just the very good stats for the cost of this game. It worked out. This is a game which was more like a mid rangey deck where I'm like actively beating the opponent up. The streets are not safe. Oh, I hate to see it. I think that was a very close call. Uh, part of the equation was I wanted to take damage so that my Light of the Phoenix could actually draw cards. But if I armored up, I still wasn't going to draw with Light of the Phoenix. Hmm, brutal Hulk. I'm going to play Bloodhoof Brave, it's going to get hauled to basically lose 5 H, 3 HP. Well, basically, yeah, basically 3 HP. Kind of brutal. That hull keeps, like, getting up on the same turn as my even cards. It's better. I, won't go down without a fight. I was going to say, like, I drew an oddly specifically bad hand. Get you after I'm done. I have a not on my watch. Okay, Silver Fury Stalwart is here to tank. I got a number of catch up cards here. This is just a good card against a mid card, medium card. This card's actively good against anything of four or more health. That card against something I want to silence. And a four five, another great hall charge, but what can you do? Gets moved down to a three three, eh, four five into a three three. What can you do? Nothing. Some of the lowest cost men in your hand. Oh. Okay. Hogs on the 
loose. You got the wrong guy, pal. All right, it's gonna come down to who's got the big cards. Naxxramas never lacks corpses. Coroner versus Lost Exarch, part two. I want to keep that for the double and in order. Not for my fault. Did that just move? Do I kill the four two or the five four? Please help me. I'm about to play small taunts, which kill the divine shield. So I probably kill the five four. Looking for a Nixian warder, or trench stalker, Neptulon, etc. What to do? What to do? Run for help! No! I ain't no snitch. Womp womp. Whew! Okay, we're off to a good start! You know, the interesting thing... I believe the very first arena I did this, you know, this season... was Warrior. It's kind of beautiful. We begin with Warrior, and we end with Warrior... for the th first 30 runs. How I decide to proceed here is actually not obvious and will really impact things. I think I just play Pack Mule and Pass. The theory being, like, heal is a slow move on turn three. Tempo, tempo. How to decide? Slow turn by me. It's just like a turn four Yeti, pretty much. But I guess the hand is uh, full of answers. Okay, we did two two.
This would have been such a good turn to have an Exian Warder. I think I might actually tempo out armor. Yeah, that is good trades. Aha! My hand is bad. I don't know if it was twice as likely for them to see Execute. Um, Did that just... But apparently they chose Coroner, so... Oh, I don't want to play a Nixian Drake. I have two Nixian Warders in this deck. <sighs> yeah, these Nixian Warders really make me really want to keep a dragon. Do I execute this thing? Oh, maybe I execute it. I think I execute this thing. Boo. Had the chance to do it for a while, but... I hate using Execute to finish off unmana thirsted Silvermoon armor. There's inefficiencies going on with both flares as we fight for Tempo Tempo. And I also, like, don't want to fight for Tempo Tempo because I'm basically out of cards in hand. So I needed to get value out of all these cards. You get the it's door. tough. I'll stand watch. I spy with my orcish eye. You get the goods. I'll stand watch. I won't go down without a fight. Start running. I have little time. Scream for me! Do your worst! It's painful to do all these moves because... This isn't a card. It's a dragon for my warders. So I have these two cards left in my hand against the priest's hand. And they discovered something from my deck, which is presumably going to be very big. So, I'm in terrible shape, I think. Will there be another free-to-play series? So, I think that the start of a new season is probably the time to do it. So, not going to commit to it now, but I will say that the start of a season makes a lot of sense. If you want a new freedom play, you should be vocal. Holy crap, I keep getting Coroner versus Lost Exarch. Did that just move? Sorry, Nick's in order. Wow, correct order? What? How? Normally that would be the wrong order. Can't execute that. That, however, not bad, not bad. I think it's good manner to greet the opponent when you play a super unfair card. It's acknowledgement that the card is super unfair, right?
Hammer time, blah blah blah. Okay, is this lethal? I've made this mistake before. I have 20 damage. The opponent has 17. 4, 8, 12, 17. Okay. It is finished. You win. What a draw! What a draw! I was like, oh, did I? Yes, perfect. You hate to see encumbered pack mule get drawn on turn one. Where you followed? Yeah, hate to see it. The culprit was not tidy. Pass makes more sense this time, I think. A little bit. Come the warder value. Come let them harm the eggs. When that does go off, it's a 7 8 for 5. Four of which, four of whose attack is fast. It is quite good when it works. Oofeth. Not for my fault. My compliments <coughs> to the ship. I feel like I've been drawing like well. <laughs> the the top decks, you know, each card that I draw just happens to work out pretty well. Yes, I have noticed. Maybe. Oh. Huh. I have little time. Don't let them harm the eggs. You should have stayed on there. You have been. Nixian Warder is a really strong card. I think I should keep it. Even though I don't have a dragon. Even though I don't plan on mole getting a lot of cards. Two drop, three drop. That's a power card, if it works. Eh, it's just a power card. You hate playing the card into the card that you, you know they have an answer for, but it seems at the very least fair. It's a lot of tempo there. But at least I've got a hog. Let's see, they already had an undead die. 
the loose. So, kill the undead. This is where I'm really looking to draw a dragon. Oh, brutal answer. Dragon, 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 holy. Now the question is which one do I play? And it's actually a real question. I think left. I did keep this card in my hand. So the opponent should know it's like a good card that I would play early. Next beast costs two less. Might or magic. I'll do you end it all. Will we face the bears? <laughs> it's a cool shock splitter. It went off the venom strike bows to attack. Cool spit. Okay, you would want to discover the the draw cards arrow, but haha, -ha, can't be targeted. Conscious call. I was thinking, like, do I go face? I think the answer I decided on was yes. And look in the... It's interesting. It could be an easy sweep hand if the opponent plays big cards. If the opponent doesn't play big cards, it's harder. I think I just got wrecked. It's tricky because uh, 15, uh, the opponent has three more health and I have weapon damage. And I was thinking, how do I get that extra damage? Trench caller, trench stalker is a simple way. And any random minion surviving is a way. Okay, it looks like weapon damage on face might be pointless now. Should I clear the 2-2, two, two, or is that too insignificant? How many dragons do I have left in the deck? I think three? Um, Mistake. Drake. Drake. Three. Three out of 16. So the question is, do I play an Ixian Warder? Not this day. I have little time. <sighs> I think I have to hold out some value here. I got two shots just for you. What is it? The streets are not safe. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Don't let them harm the eggs. Okay, 
Okay, this is plus two, plus two, four, three. So I can leave a four, one if I'm willing to hit that with the weapon, which I guess I am. Scream for me. I have little time. All right. Hit me. Honestly, that didn't expect it. I thought I would die. It's a paid actor! Mokassin. Such a sneaky snake. Stealth. Bad card against that snake. Bad card without a dragon. isn't worth hitting very hard. Womp womp. Might or magic. Silver Fury Star Wars been doing work. Though of course it's known to be a fairly good card. Thirst beyond death. Uh, for a moment, I was like, "Wait, did you remember that? That doesn't die." Rogue is uh, running out of health. I haven't remembered hitting the opponent particularly hard, but. I guess it just adds up. Ready to fight for a better future? Hope prevails. Do your best. Trench stalker waiting. Two mana plus one plus one. That's rough. What to do? What to do? Do I hit the four four very hard? Uh, I guess I do. It's just a four three actually. No, I guess I don't. I won't go down without a fight. Come on, dragon, dragon. It might seem really lucky when I draw a dragon here, but just keep in mind I've been waiting for that dragon for a while. The check is in the mail, Blizzard.
I should have cast Blazing Power there, probably. Nah. Not necessarily, they have like hard removal sometimes. Well, 10 10. It sure would be a shame if I killed your 10 10. For one mana! <laughs> Three mana, 10 10, one mana, deal 10. Kerf. The food is getting Kerf. The streets are not safe. Ugh. <laughs> oh boy. I have little time. That was a pretty good turn. Not too shabby. I feel like I need a card draw. Hmm. The weapon just isn't gonna do anything. Weird. That is what I was drawing for, but... Doesn't matter, does it? 3, 10, 12... That's the lore is pretty tough. See, now that's how you do it! Greet, play Astalor. Correct. Yeah, I mean, yes, I could freeze, whatever. It wouldn't save me. It would save me for one turn. I still couldn't win. Alright, do I keep a Nixian Warden in my opening hand? I think yes, if I'm only getting three cards. Seems fine. That card is a power card if you get another dragon with it. But I think the odds are good that you will get another dragon with it when you draw that many cards. May the light grant you peace. Need a bit more spice over here. I think. So many people would coin Bunker Sergeant there, and I firmly believe that's incorrect. Whirling combatant to deal one damage again. Oh! Eh, one twos, whatever. Reporting for duty. Whatever. Reporting for duty. Okay, solid card. I had to do a little bit of thinking on how weird it was that that was played instead of trade, and I was like, eh, it's probably fine. 
Oh crap, I can't play Nixon Warrior number two. I was planning on playing it. We've only seen very cheap cards by the opponent so far. Ooh. All right, if the game wants to keep feeding me the perfect draw, it's time for Whirling Combatant. That card's not bad, though. Could play this, draw two cards, and get the dragon. Oh, how afraid am I, am I of jury duty? Jury duty is terrifying. <laughs> something, something. I could draw a will. Anyways, let's go. Trash draws for once. This can't be good. Start running. There's so many guys. Might as well go face. Die. That feels good. Got my 9 and 10 here. Just gotta get a decent play for next turn. How many bad draws could I get? Mistake, depths, time's good. Blazing power, Horno could be good. Padmeal's actually decent. Priest of the Deceased, Og Rancher, In life, man. Stubborn In Suspect. The rest are pretty good. There's like 11 good draws, 6 bad draws. That's one of the cards that depended. And here... Is it a happy depends? Hmm, let's say what worth playing, that? I guess. What did that just move? I think I have to play a Nixian Warder here. Because I'm playing the 9 and the 10. So, this is the turn to play this. Alright. Oh, that's right, Mistake was a dragon, which is actually a decent top deck. So there's only like five cards that were bad there. And Corner, I think, wasn't great there, but it was it wasn't bad. It was okay. The food is getting cold. Reporting for duty. Crunch! I should make sure that the opponent can't, like, buff a guy and then hit me for five. So there's gonna be some trading here. Probably both. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Hmm. I was I was just gonna play keep the mistake and then play it, but uh yeah yeah. I should just do that. Ugh. First time I've played turn one mistake because it's uh it's usually a cheerleader. Please help 
Let's see, my death rattle goes off first, which is bad for me in this case. I guess I just hope it misses. Hmm, yeah. Play the taunt, defend the 2 2. Yes. The Queen's power is beyond your comprehension. Do have a good amount of health. 5 3 is fairly good. I think this is the plan. Time. The yep. courage of man shall not fail. Scream I don't need any of you. Where you followed? It'll be our little secret. This day, oh, that actually is rather bad. I ain't no snitch, hogs on the loose. Is my nine and ten king? I'm surprised the rock survived. Alright, I guess this will, uh... This will draw the bait for the Neptuline answer. This will bait the Neptuline answer. Something, something. That is an answer to Neptuline. So that's a stalling move, which means they didn't have the better answer. It's good to know. Magic. I'm sure they would have preferred to remove it. Wow, that's a lot of card draw. I guess that's not order. They needed to play the uh, that thing first. Turn is somehow not Neptulon. Weird. <laughs> Stalwart Middle Valley. Runs out on me. You will be crushed beneath the end of time. Alright. 
It's a pretty tough board to answer. Good luck. Oh, okay. So, that Onyxian order has been pretty insane. I'll keep that. I'll keep Hog Rancher. Cool. How sad would I be? I would be a little sad. If the opponent just hero powered. That would make me sad. I'm gonna pass. I think a proper answer to me playing Pelican Diver would be the opponent pressing the hero power button. So... I'll try to dodge that. Got a very strong turn four coming up. Reporting for duty. Although, in this case, it's not actually very good. So maybe I'll just play this. I have an Want the plague? Gladly. That's the card I need to... Well, the Pelican Diver is good against that. That was so much worse than I possibly could have imagined. I hate to see that. Oof. The pain continues. That's a wall missed lethal. But who really cares? Your prowess delights me. I that was brutal. They had like a must kill game plank diver on the board. And then dealt three damage on turn six, plus played 10 10 worth of taunt. That's pretty rough. No, I can't play Pelican Diver to kill a 1-1. Poisonous. I cannot do that. What to do? What to I have to wait until a Nixian order, I think. Oh. So I play the Pelican Diver the next turn, and then I follow it up with a Nixian Warrior to kill the Scorp. That's gotta be it. I have things you never knew you wanted. Um, 
you would think I'm willing to tempo out this. I was gonna just armor up. Ah! Oh, they're abusing my pelican. I guess I'll just make him fire blast it. Surprising, they didn't have anything to deal with my 4 or 5. Want the plague? Gladly. you gangplank but what can I really say since I have Neptulon Did they just say, fascinating to buy Neptulon? No. Right? Terror reality secret. Oh, man. Just remember all the secrets that have ever been printed that aren't from this set. I hit a minion, I haven't cast a spell, and I haven't hit the face. Wait, what just happened? Did you only cast a 9 mana spell? Oh. That wasn't too bad, was it? I have an axe to run. They do have me in the late game now as a result though, yes. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? Nine wins to close out this first 30 run arena season. That's pretty good. I wonder if I should play Neptune on this next turn. And check for objection. But if they just remove Neptune on, I lose. But what can I do? They're, it's not like I can beat out their removal.
I mean, maybe they completely whiffed everything. I mean, they have a... They even have the freeze for my Neptune, but... Even if they did whiff. But if they whiffed everything, then I've got a chance. So the second secret appears to be Vengeful Visage. <laughs> The opponent didn't immediately fire blast my ne fire blast my Neptulon, so I'm thinking vengeful visage. Hmm. You got the wrong guy, pal. Oh, I see. I see a path. I trade the blacksmithing hammer, get it to five durability. I hit the opponent's face four times. That's the path to victory. Maybe I hit it just, what, like three times and I have a trench stalker in there? What if it's Vengeful Visage? I guess that'll just suck to be me. Hit it. Ah, wonderful. Thank you. Fascinating. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Why are you still in the game suffering? Well, have you ever thought that maybe I enjoy the pain? Oh, frozen by the... Ones. Good closeout to this arena season. Not closeout, that's not the final score, assuming you keep playing arena, of course. Nine wins, very solid for that draft. You got your top leaders. Uh, above seven win average is very impressive in this format. Uh, but you have to remember, those guys are just picking mage all the time. I, I, I spread out my choices. Right? Right? 6.2. We made it to number 30. And maybe we'll climb from there. Now it is unlucky that I wasn't playing on Europe. You can tell that Europe plays worse because the uh, average wins is higher. Which means there's more uh, bad players. Yeah, 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 yeah.